Good afternoon, this is our lawn and we want to put a, a, a mountain ash in and this is the mountain ash. I bought it from the secret garden the other day for just under 40 quid and it'll look something like that if it grows up. If we allow it to grow up that high uh, and there's some of the berries, unfortunately uh, it fell over and broke this here so I might just take that off don't know uh, anyway I'm going to stick this in and see how it does and so uh, first of all you dig out you know a square hole so there's there's where I want to dig it out and then you place the the uh, plant, the tree pot, in the hole. Then you backfill it, and then you simply lift the uh, the tree and the pot right out. Then you use a barbecue skewer. To go round and loosen this, uh, you know, side where the soil hits the side of the pot, so that you can lift the the tree right out of the plant pot or planter. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you the end result in a, in a wee minute or two. Right, I'm going to dig the hole first. So we have dug our hole, we've put the planter with the tree in it, we're scurrying around the edge of the uh, inside of the planter to release the root ball as best we can so that we can uh, lift the uh, mountain ash straight out. There's the amount of soil, there's the amount of stones. Um, not maybe going to backfill this as I said. Uh, I'm just going to take it straight out of the pot. So we'll do that in a second. So we're pulling the root ball out now and replacing it back into the hole. And we're going to cover that up with this soil. And there's our round tree or mountain ash in. Yeah, well pleased with that. And it should be well used, you know, the, 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 the type of tree it is, uh, it, it is, it's not called a mountain ash for nothing. Uh, it, uh, it can survive and bend with the wind and, and what not. Um, so hope it does okay here. It's uh, reasonably well planted. At least I think I knew. And there is a, a, a bamboo stake on this side of it, which should be enough. Should be enough to cope with uh, our winds. And whenever it thickens up, it gets a bit stronger. And then we'll uh, we'll eventually take that off. So, job done. And I forgot to mention that this is the 4th of May and we've got a high of 7 degrees. It's not great. It's not super. And we've had high winds, we've had uh, gusting winds, we've had uh, hailstones two or three times during the day and we're on, as I said, this is our summer weather we're on the 4th of May, 7 degrees, hailstones. I hope you're a wee bit warmer where you are. And last thing to do, 
and I forgot this again was is to water it. Give it a good water. that water to sink in. I'm trying to just make a few wee holes with my fingers. Big stone. Go away, big stone. And some more water. Hold on now, I think. I'm sure I'll think of something else. <laughs> 